Hello, Pisces, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. So, Pisces, thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'll be doing a tarot reading on who's coming into your life. This could be someone from your past. It could also be someone new. So let's get some answers, some guidance, and some clarity. So for those who are new, my name is Gigi, and welcome. And I also wanted to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all had a great day. Speaking about Valentine's Day, our master course is currently on sale. If you do wish to learn tarot, hone in your skills, there is a discount code available on our website. Just visit fifigigitarot.com. Our course is self-paced and you can download the content on your desktop or computer. I will be using also the Tarot of Owls and the Spellcasters Tarot. If you wish to purchase your own deck, that's down below in the description box. I only recommend the best. Illustrations have to be great for me to easily interpret and connect my with, my, with the cards and intuition. Okay, Pisces, let's begin, please. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. So Pisces underneath the deck, hmm, we do have the eight of cups. <clears throat> the big energy here is walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. There's a situation here that was no longer inspiring you, a situation that you just felt that just didn't feel right anymore, so walked away. But you also walked away from turbulent times and into calm of waters with the Six of Swords. Hmm. There could be someone new coming into your life with the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is all about brand new beginnings, a new cycle, a new opportunity. So let's have a look at the current energy at the moment. We do have the King of Swords. So something you need to have a look at with the King of Swords represented by Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Notice the butterflies, the butterflies on the chair and on the side. It's all about transitions, going through a transition, going through a change. The sword is pointing up. It's all about communication. Think about speaking clearly confidently to get what you want literally and getting the results that you want excellent so i love seeing the king of swords it is the i'm going to say whenever i see the king or the queen of swords they are the only court cards that are holding a weapon actually so do not play games at all actually so there is some form of transition happening here in the current energy a transition and a change so let's have a look at you pisces where are you at what's your story hmm. five of pentacles being left out in the cold rejected so i feel like someone has rejected you blocked you or they just went missing in action that can happen sometimes you know it's like you meet someone and you never hear back from them it's a bit of childish behavior, I'm going to say, but it's not the best card too. These are like, every time I see fives, they're like little mini towers before you get the actual tower. But yes, it just shows that there has been a bit of disappointment, a bit of a letdown by a certain individual that, again, just stopped contacted you, perhaps even blocked you for no reason. So let's have a look at the person coming in. Who is this person? Hmm. So we do have the Magician. Beautiful. So the Magician is Virgo and Gemini energy. This person can't manifest anything. And they have all the resources at their disposal. This is actually a really good card. Fantastic card. Because this person can literally do anything. They set their mind to it and they can do it. And I love seeing the Magician. They're very creative, original. They can do literally anything with their hands. So what's happening behind the scenes with this person, the magician? Strength. They've got lots of strength and courage. <laughs> this is actually a really good card. This is Leo energy. So strength, we know that 
It's all about having courage and also about taming any fears, any unwanted thoughts or any negative cognitions that we may think of ourselves or the world, actually. So I do love seeing the strength to do anything, whatever challenges, whatever thing, whatever you may face. It's all about having that courage. If we look at the mutual energies, mm. so we do have the moon. So we know about the moon. It's all about, unfortunately, the moon is like feeding our shadow self because whenever we do see the moon, the moon is like, um, like we, we can't see what's happening in the shadows here. We can't see what, what's going on. So sometimes we may feed our fears. We may just overthink something. Now, again, there could be trust issues with this card. With you, Pisces, or even this person, there's an issue with trust because it's about secrecy. It's about things happening behind your back or behind closed door. There's, there's something going on there, actually. So let's keep looking. Let's have a look. What is this person's actions? Five of swords. This person can, I'm feeling this person's a little bit selfish. That's what I'm picking up. In terms of their actions, they're selfish. The reason why I'm saying that, you need to look at the illustration clearly. As you can see, this owl, what are they doing? They've taken all the sword. It's like that selfish attitude. They're like, ha, these are all mine. I won. Did they win? Because as you can see here, the owls in the background, they're going away. They're, they're literally flying away. It's like that attitude, fine, take the swords, they're all yours, you win, go for it. So in terms of their actions, it's like they've got this attitude. It's like, I won, you know, I rejected Pisces first. I, me, me, me first. You know, I wasn't the one that left. Um, you know, I broke up with Pisces. That, that's what I'm picking up because I'm seeing already two fives. So I feel like this person left you and at the same time, they've got like this really weird winning attitude and the five of swords does show when there's an abrupt ending, like people go their separate ways. There's, it's just something that's very quick. And the thing is this, I don't feel that you even trust this person, Pisces. What are they hiding? What are they hiding? Okay. Five of wands. Five of Wands. Well, the thing is, though, there's a lot of arguments here. In fact, Pisces, I think this person is fighting with the entire world. You probably don't even know it. Maybe with their other friends or family or they're in a, in a circle. They're fighting with the entire world. I've seen lots of fives. There's too many fives here. That's what I'm seeing. Five of, five of Wands is like... Toxic energy, arguments, it's about competition, gossip, um, poking someone, trying to get a reaction. It's also about seeing um, the other person's reaction. This, this, this person has caused a lot of problems, actually. That's what they've done. And what are they hiding? I feel like they, they still want to challenge you, Pisces. I feel like they, they still want to have the last say. They still want to say something because they're angry. The advice from your spirit team. You have the star. You're in a good place, Pisces. So this is Aquarius energy. This is a card of wish fulfillment. So what is it that you really, really want, Pisces? If you could wish for anything right now, what would it be? You can pause this video and think about it. But when you think of a wish, you need to think of it with intention. So in other words, I need to, you need to see it in your mind's eyes. You need to feel it and you need to hear it. Because your spirit team are telling you that you're going to get a wish. And we're going to clarify this reading. So I want to see what is, it that, what is it that you're wishing for? If we look at the outcome and anything else you need to know. Hmm, Pisces. You have the high priestess. This is telling you that you need to listen to intuition. And there's going to be a secret exposed to you. You're going to find out about something. Something's going to come to light. Something's going to be on the table that you really need to listen to. 
also listen to intuition. What is your gut telling you this very moment about this entire situation? Because I also want to mention, I do see the high priestess and the moon. Even though they are similar, what I don't like is I'm seeing lots of secrets going on. There's lots of secrets. And sometimes, and I'm not saying that this is for everybody, but the moon does also suggest that there could have been a secret love affair. There could have been, not always, but there could have been a situation where this person tells you one thing, the next minute they're doing something completely different, like something that you would not expect from their character. Let's get some, let's clarify this reading, please. Let's understand this more. Let's see, is this person really for you? Because if anything, yeah, they are planning something, but at the same time, I feel like they still want to challenge you. Let's have a look, Pisces. Okay, what does Pisces need to know, please? Cards are very jumpy. It means that I have a lot to say. The King of Swords, represented also by the Knight of Wands. You're going to go through it. There's going to be a transition, as I mentioned before, with the Knight, sorry, the King of Swords. With the butterflies, there's going to be a transition. And more importantly, is communication. You also have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is an opportunity, a change like an offer, but it's also a call to action. So what do I mean by that? When this opportunity comes, you will need to speak very clearly and you need to make a decision because there's some offer coming here. Definitely. These two cards, they're great together. This is a great combination together. There's no challenge here. It's only the only thing that they are saying, Pisces, that you will need to take action because there's opportunity coming your way. If we look at the Five of Pentacles, also the Wheel of Fortune. So Pisces, even though you have the Rejection card, it doesn't matter. From being at the bottom of the wheel, you're going to start being on top. So in other words, you're going to get out of this rejection period, feeling sorry for yourself, feeling that, oh my God, I can't believe how this person's treated me. In other words, you're going to pick yourself up. You're going to be in a good place, Pisces. So Wheel of Fortune is also about luck too. It can also mean travel. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is also about like perfect timing. It's like literally having luck, like literally good luck. So can't help to notice it's also next to the Knight of Wands. Luck is definitely on your side, Pisces. If we look at your person, the Magician, hmm, Three of Wands. Three of Wands. I feel like this person still wants to meet you halfway. So they still want to communicate with you. But with the Three of Wands, they want to meet you halfway at least. So I feel like there's something that this person needs to say. They, they need to express themselves. Behind the scenes, the strength. Hmm. This person wants to challenge you, Pisces. Now we have the five of wands. This has come out again. So they want to have the strength to not only express themselves, but everything that's currently happening in their mind. So they, they're gathering up a lot of courage with the strength, and also with the five of wands to also say, in other words, I don't mean to be blunt, Pisces, but it's like, you did this, Pisces. You did this. This is your fault. And just like do the whole blaming game here. With the Five of Wands, nobody wins. Nobody's getting along here. As you can see, everybody is fighting, but nobody's getting along here. There's no solution here. Nothing, there's, nothing is coming great 
out of the five of wands. If we look at the moon, so what's going on with the moon? Okay, this has come out twice. Yeah, secrecy. There's lots of secrets. Definitely lots of secrets. We're feeding the dogs here. So the dogs represent, are we feeding our good side or our bad side? And again, there may have been some sort of secret romance or some sort of behavior that this person was probably doing behind your back, Pisces. What else? Temperance. There was definitely no balance. There was an issue with balance, with temperance. What else? The hermit. Retreating. So both of you are not, both of you are separated at the moment. At the hermit. This is Virgo energy. You're both separated at the moment. I call it the desert period also. And you're doing a lot of self-reflection. You're really thinking about the past and honing in what happened. So what was the setback? What was the lesson in all of this? Because there's an issue with trust here. There's an issue that you can't trust each other. This person's actions, so the five of swords, both of you, even though you're separated, you may still be together though, but you're separated. But at the same time, this person wants to end things. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to start, um, wants to message you. So I feel that there will be a message coming your way very soon because remember, pages is all about communication, small communication. So this can be a telephone call, could be a text message also. But there will be some form of communication. So they're planning to reach out to you. They're planning to contact you. So what are they hiding? They're hiding some form of argument. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups now. I feel like they, they really want to get it out of their system. Because I feel like they've got so much that they want to tell you, Pisces. So they've got really good stuff, but at the same time, some challenging stuff. At the same time, let's let's get more information, please. The Emperor, yeah. So what are they hiding? So they're going to be reaching out to you. They're going to be making the first move with the Emperor. Aries energy. So the Emperor is all about making the tough decisions, reaching out and just going forward. Because the Emperor is literally all the kings wrapped up in one. We know that the, the Emperor is structured, very disciplined. But at the same time, they're planning some sort of get-together here. Not necessarily it doesn't have to be face-to-face. -face. It can be over the phone. But again, this person may try to challenge you again, Pisces. You have the star also with the king of wands. So the big advice here is to take action. Take action with all your wish fulfillments. Whatever that you're wishing upon a star, whatever your wishes are, you need to take action here. You need to take action and just go for it because the King of Wands, this person is known to, if they see potential, boom, they take action. So the High Priestess here, what else is it that you needed to know? What's the outcome? You also have the King of Pentacles here. So we know the King of Pentacles is someone very cool, calm, collected. Now you may find out something through, now this can be a friend, this could be a family member. Because the High Priestess, as I mentioned before, is like listening to intuition and there could be a secret that can be exposed. It may come from someone that you know. So the King of Pentacles is someone of an Earth sign, which can be Capricorn, can be Virgo, even Taurus. Not necessarily do they have to be an Earth sign, but they can have those elements in their chart. So I feel you're going to be receiving some form of contact from somebody Listen, you really need to pay attention and listen to it. And you also have the four of swords, which is you need to rest. These news may come as a bit of a shock to you, four of swords, in the sense that you may might want to rest. Don't do anything drastic, no. Feel though, Pisces, you need some time out to be by yourself and to think things through. Because I'm feeling that I don't feel like this person was quite honest with you, wasn't being really genuine. Just want to see, remind you, if anything, Pisces, I just want to go back to what was behind. This is the card of walking away from turbulent times, but also starting something brand new. The Hermit came out also. 
before in the reading, in the beating heart of the reading. And I feel like you need some self-reflection. And this also came out, the Four of Swords, just like here, Four of Swords, that you need to rest, you need to recuperate, you need to get away from all the noise. Because I feel, yeah, you're going to be finding out about something very, very soon. Now, we also have the King of Swords. This has come out twice now. It's very important, Pisces, to communicate with your head, not with your heart. Do not bring emotions to the table here. You need to start thinking. You need to start acting like this King of Swords. Because the King of Swords, first of, first of all, they don't play games. They want results and the truth. Do, if anyone lies to the King of Swords, what does the King do? They chop their heads off, as a metaphorically merif speaking, actually. So communication is going to be super, super important. Speak very assertively, confidently, because there will be something a secret coming towards you. You're going to find out about something. And look, I do feel that this person, unfortunately, just looking at their cards, I do feel that perhaps they're playing games, that they're trying to manipulate a situation here. And we've got the moon also. There's got the moon twice, actually. That's good because there's secrets here. There's no trust whatsoever. And also... There's, not, there's no balance. Even though the temperance is here, and I'm saying that, yes, there is balance. I'm not picking up. There is balance. And we also have the hermit, where both of you have kind of like retreated at this very moment. And there's just lots of arguments. Too many fives. I'm just seeing too many fives. But there is an opportunity coming your way. Now, this opportunity that's coming your way, this could also be linked to this Knight of Pentacles, so someone coming in, someone telling you something that's going to open your eyes, actually. And can't help to notice that, again, this one has come out. This person's going to reveal something to you. And remember, whatever it is that will be revealed to you, Pisces, remember to take the advice on the King of Swords. Be strategic. Remove the emotions. Think with your head. Think logically. And you will know what you have to do. Absolutely. So what I feel like the, this entire advice of this reading is, some time alone is actually really, really good until things come to fruition. You'll know what to do in this entire situation when this happens because there's something that you don't know. That's why the moon's come out twice. There's some sort of secret that needs to come to light so you know what you have to do, Pisces, and for you to move forward. Thank you, Pisces, for joining me. I wish you a beautiful day and I will see you at the next reading.